And therefore, and the as the Lord, no, the Señor, if this is what you are planning, si es lo cual está or what you have done, para lo cual tú vas a hacer, how can we bring this to manifestation? No manifestation. That is when this topic came. And, the theory, the topic and came. what I will be preaching on Sunday, and Miracle Rally. It is going to be awesome. Because those two topics came immediately. And obedience. Y obediencia. Tell your neighbor. Pray. Oración. And obedience. Y obediencia. Pray. Oración. And obedience. Amen. Pray and obedience. Oración y obediencia. God said, "This is the two key." Dios se piensa que te dos llaves. Now we bring the manifestation. The manifestation of what He has poured upon you. De lo cual fue la tierra marido bo. Amen. Amen. Let's go to the book of First John. La que nos va a ir por mejor. First John chapter three. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The ministers in the house they blow my mind. The ministers in the house blow my mind. I saw them with actions. I said, Oh man, these are the product of the house. Amen. Amen. I'm really proud of everyone of you. Thank God. Thank you, Dios. Amen. Amen. First John. Chapter three. Chapter three. Verse twenty-two. Verso 22 and 24. And whatsoever we ask, we receive of him because we keep his commandment and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. And this is his commandment that we should believe on the name of his son Jesus and love one another and as he gave us commandment. And he that keepeth his commandment dwelleth in him, and he in him. And hereby we know that he abideth in us by the Spirit which he hath given us. E que como nos pide, nos está recebido por Ije. Mas o mano só guarda seu mandamento na idade se coça não cuida agradável de sua vista. E é só que dá seu mandamento para nos querer de em nome de seu Jesus Cristo. Estima outro, mas coça ela ordena a nós. E é só que guarda seu mandamento na da permanecer de Ije e é de Ije. E na é só que nos sa o é da permanecer de nós para meio de Espírito que ela dona nós. So the only way you receive, the only way what God has promised you will manifest in your life is by keeping His commandment. And this is His commandment that we should believe in the name of Jesus. When it talks about believing in the name of Jesus, it does not mean just believing in that name because Jesus is the Word of God. He's talking about I was so amazed when the Lord was speaking to me, and He says, "Son, the greatest sin in the Bible is unbelief." Do you know what pains God so much? Not because someone committed adultery. They can cleanse the person. The thing that pains God so much is when you do that. When you have seen all he has done, and yet you don't believe it. And many people they obey not because they believe, they obey because someone asked them to obey. And that is why it doesn't work. Because anything that will work in the kingdom of God must take faith. Believing because God said it. And the thing I find out, the only one commandment, the only commandment that Jesus gave to the church, is what we pray every day. And yet, pray and fast for forty days. No one is not working. The Lord showed me something which He repeated this morning when we were praying here. He said, "Every seed you plant in love, we grow, mature, expand, because love is God." He said, "But every seed you plant in iniquity, is strife, will die, because that is the ground of the devil." And that is why you see many people in the church. Either they are sowing seed, but they have iniquity in them. It's not working. And the other group of the people in the church are people who are praying, but never obey. 
You can fast for two days. God is not interested in that fast. And you can also obey. But the best, the first thing God looks in your heart. What is the state of your heart? Every blessing that will manifest in your life starts from your heart. And therefore, if I am going to prosper, the first place my prosperity starts is in my heart. Who is he that will be able to stand before God? He that have a clean heart. A clean hand. Man Only one commandment. Solamente un mandamento. Love your brother. Stima bohumana. Love your sister. Stima bohumamwe. And yet, you see, but this is what because I believe God, God is dealing with us. Many of us will complain. God said, I'm not interested in your tithing until your heart is clean. He said, because your tithe is going to die when so your heart is not clean. Your seed is going to die if your heart is not clean. Your offering is going to die if your heart is not clean. Therefore, before you bring your time and your offering to this house, make sure that your heart is clean. Because when your heart is clean, God will hear your prayer. When your heart is clean, whatever seed you sow will prosper. But when your heart is not clean, when you bring that seed before God, God will do like this. Uh -huh. hmm. And when you pray, and you are not in obedience, many of us want to be anointed. But yet we fast and pray. We step out. We disobey. You say, God, why am I not anointed? I fasted. God is not interested in your fasting. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Prayer alone does not bring solutions to our problem. I am taught that, but that is wrong. I am taught that you got to pray because when you pray, any man who can pray will be blessed. But God said that is wrong. 